thanks for staying with us. So uh, before we go into our conversation, let me just quickly <laughs> bring in Mori. Mori, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Sorry, I had a bit of, I Net don't know what was happening. Yeah, but hi, is. everybody. Mommy Faiza, you better start coming to the studio. We've given you I enough should. time. <laughs> enough maternity. I'm working on it. I'm <laughs> working on it. <laughs> All right, so what did you find for us? Because your story is interesting. We cannot just pass it away. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to make it as short as possible, going straight to the point. Twitter decided to have headquarters in Africa. You know, they've been talking about it for a while, and then we finally, they finally decided to have their headquarters in Ghana. And, you know, some Nigerians on Twitter were talking about um, it should have been Nigeria. You know, there's just a whole lot of debate around it. People talking about it should have been Nigeria and not Ghana, considering the fact that Jack was in Nigeria a while back, you know, interacting, communicating, and networking with a bunch of Nigerians. So everybody thought that, oh, if Twitter was going to be in Africa, it would have been Nigeria instead of Ghana. Um, but yeah, that's what I have. That was what I found. Mm. Well, well, what do you today. think? What do you think? What's your own opinion? You think... Um... I don't think anything. I think that it should have been in Ghana. If Jack gave me the decisions to help him choose, I will help him choose Ghana. I'm okay with it being in Ghana. I don't know that we have the... Well, actually, we do because apparently we have Facebook office here. We have mm -hmm. Google office here. Microsoft. You know, um, but you know, Twitter is very, very... Um, is, is, I don't know how to... I don't know what word to use currently, but Twitter people don't send. You know, before... Uh, why boy and close twitter office because the youth are tweeting what they're not supposed to be tweeting <laughs> um i think that ghana is a great choice for twitter <laughs> you know you know the funny thing is that i actually saw some um the write-up that twitter and the reasons they gave yeah. part of the reason is that ghana has seemed to 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 show that there's freedom you know of speech freedom so you see all these things yeah. that you are clamping i i am so sure that that NSAS protest and all the things that happened afterwards, you know, was a huge um, determining factor for this decision that they took. You know, outside of, of course, all the drama that happens within Nigeria, you know, but let's just see how it plays out, you I, know. I, when, I saw, when I saw the news mm. and I heard about it and I saw the whole, how um, Twitter was just upside down, I was just laughing. And I was like, see, even Adamu Gaba, who is in the government, was attacking Jack. Mm. And you want Jack to bring his Twitter company to Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. How now? Come on, you guys. Please just support him from Nigeria. He's Abiyo. part of us. We're part of, <laughs> We're part of them. All right, so let's continue our conversation. So I saw this tweet um, thread by Tolu Odukoya, um, Ojegun, I think that's her, her um, marital um, surname, yes. Ijogun, yes, sorry. <laughs> and I, I read, it says, seasons change people, um, seasons change people, Seasons change. Although we don't have the power to change seasons, we have our roles being consistent, showing up, having faith, and dreaming big, right? So that's the, the first tweet thread. And, you know, the second post, she, wrote, she said, I saw a tweet by WizKid posted 10 years ago, and I thought how seasons have changed. But Wiz put in that hard work. He had a dream and kept pushing. Now, this is a tweet. For those that haven't seen this tweet, that Whiskey tweeted to MI, you know, in 2010. And it reads, hello, sir. My name is Whiskey and I am an upcoming artist. I have met you before. Not sure you remember me. I am a big fan, sir. So we now asked, what is consistency? You know, by definition, consistency is referred to as adherence to the same principles in a steadfast way. Now, if you want to achieve anything of value and meaning in your life, then you need to be consistent. This holds true in business, in relationship, in life in general. Now, so tonight we want to be honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we are always honest here as young people. Do we really have the capacity to be consistent? Or has this fast life, you know, jet age, you know, has it eroded consistency from our lives? And that's our question tonight. So please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wish Africa One with the hashtag Wish Show. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to the rate 1 <laughs> I don't know if Mori is back. I think we lost her. <laughs> Mori, are you back? Okay. I'm back. Awesome. So, Mori, you are a content creator. 
you should you should mm. you should exemplify what consistency is it's not an easy thing but tell me you know when you saw that tweet because when i saw it it actually struck me like really are we truly consistent do we really put in that work you know when it comes to success because it seems like now maybe social media has made it made a lot of us so impatient that we just want it now we are not ready to stay on something until we succeed you know but let me hear your initial thoughts on this I think that is easy to be consistent when, um, are you with me? Yes, go ahead. Okay, okay. I think that it's easy to be consistent when you know that what you're doing is for you. You know, so you have to, you have to be sure of yourself to be, a lot of people are doing things just because other people are doing it, you know, and that's why for people like that, consistency can be hard because why are you even doing it anyways? You don't know. You're just doing it because you mm. feel like it's the trend. But, you know, when something is supposed to be your calling, so to say, I feel like it's easier to be consistent. Also, we need to understand that consistency does not mean doing the same thing over and over again. It just means showing up. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense. Um, uh yeah, it just means that you're standing up to put in the work because you have to move with time. So you cannot say that because you are, um, I don't know, maybe your calling is butter dancing, for instance, and then you know that the world is into something else. You will now say that, oh, you is butter, or you will now wait for um, when, when the world will finally accept butter. I feel like consistency in that case should be you still infusing, looking for a way to infuse butter in the natural trends that is occurring in the world. I don't know if that makes sense. It does. So when you hear people say be consistent, be consistent, like you need to be able to be consistent, doing what you like and infusing it with the trend. That way it's easier for you to stay on track, you know? That way it's easier for you to be focused so that um, when people are coming to say, oh, you should do this, you know that this is what you're supposed to be doing. Do you get me? I get you. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, me, to me, like, a, consist, consistency to me is, you know, showing up, putting in the work, getting up and doing, you know, the same thing. Over. Like me now, I've, I've, I've ventured into selling Toban, you know, I've ventured into selling different things before I finally found oh, what I want to be selling the most. So I would say that I've been consistent, but I've been doing different things over the mm. just been showing up, you know, and I'm mm. still showing up. Um, and that eventually will take you to, I hope, the okay. level of success that you're looking for. Yeah, because, you know, when I saw this uh, post, right, you know, because, um, you know, Tolu was saying that, oh, you know, seasons change. I should not look at it and say, wait a minute, come, come, come. This thing is a lot of work. Because you see, I think if we, if, we, if we check, right, just maybe five years ago, some of these people that are big stars, you know, I was saying to Jennifer last night on our drive back home, you know, that when your morning comes, your morning will come. Sure. Then the whole world will know that, yes, the sun is, is shining on you, right? But when you were in the dark, when you were putting in all those baby steps, putting the block, the, what's it called, the cement and building, nobody saw all of that. But I think now, because the question I'm asking, Mori, is the patience level, right? How many of us are patient enough now, you know, to stay on something? So you've mentioned something about changing things. I don't really want to go into that one. You know you have a vision, right? You know that there's something that you are good at. Maybe let's say music or let's say, you know, let's say, uh, what's it called? Poetry or something, right? How, how? How patient can you be to stay on that? You know, yes, you do all the invention. You make sure that you are current. You are making sure that you are not stale. Your, your, your poetry, for instance, is not obsolete. But can you stay on it and continue to build and build and build until the success comes out of that thing? How many of us can do that today? I, I feel like, let me tell you, Oa, the key to that is, the key to, I feel like, becoming successful, even though I'm not successful as I want to be, is not thinking of the success. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm. Don't be doing stuff because I want to be successful. Everybody wants to, wants to be successful. We know that that's the main goal. But I feel like the key to growing faster is genuinely enjoying what you're doing. Mm. 
you know don't look at how many people is this thing going to the, the, the universe has a way of you know making things work in your favor if you are just you know natural and and genuine so don't look at how many people is this if 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 you are a, a, a music artist for instance now and then one person buys your music that should be fulfilling for you you know if it's two people that should be fulfilling for you just genuinely be enjoying it and creating for those two people you know until those two people tell two people tell two people until you know it's the success that you want will come but i feel like the fastest way to failure is doing stuff because i want to be successful i want to be successful it gets tiring because nobody knows when you don't know you don't even know if you're going to be successful i'm sorry so you just use stress to kill yourself and that's what makes a lot of people not be patient mm. you know um oh, wait, are let me come to jennifer success. Mm. success let me come to jennifer don't you think that consistent hard work right putting in the work and being consistent don't you think it eventually leads to success um i think it does but at the same time it means that you also have to be smart about it now there are people who have been working hard for a long time and then there's this saying that that says it's not just about the hard work it's about working smart now knowing the right things to do now you can keep pushing this uh, you can keep pushing this and pushing this and hoping that it doesn't fall off but if you push it in the right direction it might actually take a curve mm -hmm. and then it probably lead to something better or something great and that's why sometimes you you find people who are working so hard but then they they're still on the same spots. Mm. They wake up very early in the morning, they are rushing to work, they're in traffic, they are rushing for their businesses and all of that, but they're not working smart. They're not thinking right. Their, their, their mindset is not positioned in the right direction. Mm. Now, um, Maurice said something. She said that, um, that it's, um, you have to do something that you love. And then, see, in all my life on being on planet Earth, or let me just say in my adult life, <clears throat> I realized that there are some times that you do things that you don't exactly love. You do them because you have to, mm. because you have to make ends meet. Now, even when you're not doing something that you love 100%, when you're very consistent and you're patient and you're very diligent in what you're doing, you can still succeed in that area. Now, it's from that point where you have progressed to one point that you realize that, oh, now I think I can move to something that I, 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 I genuinely love. Because <clears throat> there are times when, um, let's say you feel you're done with university, you're done with your NYC, and then you're waiting for a job, and then you're just doing something, you're just in limbo, basically. You know where people have been, um, they've been lost when it comes to their career, when it comes to their life. Oh, I don't know what, what's the next step. Hmm. You don't know what the next step is. You don't know what you're supposed to do next. But you're doing something mm. at that time. But it's not what you love. So that period of limbo where you have not figured it out yet doesn't mean that you cannot succeed in what you're doing. It just means that you've not gotten to your destination. Mm. You're still somewhere. You're still at the middle. You're in progress. So you can still do something you don't love and succeed. I just needed to point that out. <laughs> you can still do something you don't love and succeed. It's all about the work, the efforts, your mindset, mm. what you actually put into it. That's why sometimes um, you hear, oh, um, there is somebody that has been in, this, in a, a particular company. You've been working for a very long time. The person is sad. And then maybe your CEO or maybe your supervisor notices that, oh, this guy has been working f for a very long time. He has put in the work. I think we can promote him what do you want to do? And then you know that, oh, the person has left one department to a different department where they can actually function and they are very happy. Mm. So I like what you said about the truth is people can actually do what, because now, if you understand the principle behind consistency, it's not a function of whether you like it, whether you don't like it, because even the things you love, Maury, it is tiring to have a routine. Yeah. I mean, I saw a quote this afternoon, interestingly, on Twitter, um, by uh, one of my, will I call him my mentors or, you know, from afar, shall he mentors me from afar? And he said something about, you know, routine. Let me see if I can just quickly find it. He said something, he said, the secret to one's success or failure is hidden in one's daily schedule, right? Because even with that thing that you're talking about that you love, Maury, 
it is difficult for you to put a structure to it. Yes, I love ways, but trust mm -hmm. me, the work that I have to do every single day, the reason that it is going on strong, it is because I have decided to shut my mind to say this one, oh, I must stay consistent because left for my own natural person, I have set up the vision and is moving, I step back, yeah. right? I don't want to do the daily, day-to-day -day running and all of those things. I've already, so the vision is rolling out. No, but you see, it is in that day-to-day -day activity that you make sure that every single day, with every single show, you put in the work and everything. That is only when it eventually leads to success. So you might really not love things, but because I, you know why I'm saying this, why we're having this conversation? Whether it is social media now that is happening, that is making people, because I see that we have a lot of impatient people. Even me at some point, right? When I look at myself, you know, you check, you know, they say Instagram is the biggest pl um, 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 platform of envy, yeah. right? Right now. So when you check Mori, ah, ah, Mori and I went to school together. See where <laughs> Mori is. This one, that one. Mori is getting endorsements and all of that. So it gives you, and you lose focus on what you're supposed to be doing. Maybe, just maybe, look at MI and Whiskey. Look at where they are today. They are worlds apart. Maybe that's your talent that you have or that gift that you have is way, way bigger than Maury's. But because you are not ready to put in that work and you don't want to stay, at, stay on it, you know, you might never eventually grow. And so many dreams, so many visions have died in the process because they were not ready to put in that work. Everybody just wants to see... I want to, that's why I hate that word, I want to blow. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> but let me come to you, Maury. <laughs> well, I think that it varies for different people, honestly. I think that success also means different things for different people. Definitely. You know, and that's why I say that, I say that you need to genuinely enjoy what you're doing because that was what kept me grounded in the days where I was just, um, you know, starting a career in content creation. I had to, I just, I'm not even going to lie, there were days where I was, you know, comparing as, uh, myself to people that we started together initially. And, you know, me, I was still like 1,000 followers and there were like 6,000. That's back in the days. So, you know, so there's no how, like, it will enter your eye if you start, if you start out with somebody and, you know, everybody looks like they are growing and then you are just there. You, it's, it's easy for you to think that you want to quickly look for another solution. But to be honest, what kept me grounded, even on days that I was tired, even on days that I didn't feel like showing up, was the fact that I genuinely enjoyed what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine if I hated creating content, because the fact that it was the only thing that I had to do, I, I would have, you know, probably lost it. You know, but I, I had, I, 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 I took solace in enjoying the fact that, you know, in enjoying the process of creating the content, you know, if one person comments, I'm like happy, even if it's five likes I get, I don't even care, I'm happy. As far as the message is getting out, is getting to somebody, you know, there are days on the day, two days that I'm tired and I honestly just want to log off, you know, on the internet, but I know that I have to show up. So what I do is take a break and come back. But what's giving me the goal to come back is because this is something that I enjoy. This is something that I love to do. You know, this is something that I genuinely enjoy. So I'm just, I'm just trying to say that if you enjoy it, it makes it bearable to be consistent. Okay. I think that that's the word that I should have used. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take I a break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. When we return, we're going to open the phone lines. You know, we like to hear, um, you know, are we ready? You know, are we consistent? And, you know, and um, how would this help to build success? All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.